Hey, welcome back to Terry Family Adventures. If you are subscribed, you already know. But if you're a new subscriber, you need to know that we do a little bit of everything on this channel. Today, it's car wash day. It's a beautiful day. We're bored. Our cars need clean, so we're gonna clean them. kind of just a boring day at the house. So we are gonna have a car wash day. <laughs> since these our vehicles have had a bath we live on a gravel road so they get pretty filthy and even when we clean them gravel roads get them dirty pretty much right off the bat but we're bored today so we wanted to have a little fun in the water it's a nice day and Maddie loves this power washer <laughs> My truck will be next. Still got some inflatables on it from yesterday delivery. It hasn't been washed. <laughs> it might be last summer or better before it's been washed. It's it's got a lot of grime on it. So honestly, I really don't know nothing about cleaning, but I got a lot of cleaning supplies over the years. So while we're cleaning and Maddie is power washing, I'm gonna go over with this Armor Raw Ultra Shine Wax and Wash. I think by what I read, it's you use this while you're washing. So we're gonna do that. Can't go wrong with more is better, right? Then we're gonna go over with this Meguiar's. Supposedly like the number one car detail on brand since 1901. So. That looks good too, and it's a cool bottle. And this is without water, so it'll be after. So when she's done power washing and cleaning and I'm done with this one, I'm gonna hit it with this one while she's inside detailing. We'll see how that goes. examination or Review. reviews this <laughs> it says right at the top of the bottle is for restoring trim so I'm gonna go over all the black trim and you know the black parts and it's supposed to make it shine so this is the Meguiar's it is not for I guess the paint but trim and while he's restoring the trim I'm gonna make the wheels shine I have the Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner, which foams up, gets all the build up out, then we rinse it off, and then we have the armor all, which we spray on, leave it there, and it will cause a nice shine. So let's get started. I don't know if 
have done much. I'll let you guys be the judge. Comment below if you think that McGuire's trim did. I think it. I think it made it look a little better, but comment below. But over here, Maddie's working on the tires. Does this tire look dirty to you? Does it look dirty? Because this McGuire is really gonna show you how dirty it is. Let's find out. Oh my gosh, look at all that dirt. <laughs> That's insane. Highly recommend this Meguiar's wheel shine. That is insane. The dirt is pulling out of these tires. We do live on gravel roads. I know we've said that, but we do live on gravel roads. Not very far. What do you think, about a three quarters of a mile down? But we are country, so spends a lot of time on the country roads. You. This is the other side that she's already been working on that she sprayed, I don't know, roughly five minutes ago. That's insane. Rinse time. Thing. That's just the McGuire. We still got to put the, what was it, the armor on? That's pretty neat right there. Okay, it's uh, cleaning out the inside time now. We're going to wipe, wipe everything down, kind of vacuum out, you know, just detail a little bit. Again, we are not professionals, so, uh, we're just kind of bored and decided to clean our cars because they are very dirty. Vacuuming time. Besides the lab. All purpose car detailer. Well, she's wiping with that. I'm going to wipe with the Armor Off. New UV protection. I don't know. We'll see what does better. Hers is all purpose, but Armor All's been around forever and everybody uses it, so I think mine's better. Look at this dirtiness right here. All from is going in and out. What a good cleanup right here. This is what I'm about to be cleaning. Look at that Look at dust this. and dirt. Look at all that Not this guy. All that nasty gunk. Okay, vehicle one is done. I think it's not too shabby. Whatever you think. <laughs> uh, don't call us for detailing, but I don't think it's too shabby. It's vehicle number two, the truck time. It is filthy. It's has it been cleaned and it's sad to say probably a couple of years. And beans that we run our inflatable business, bounce houses and stuff out of this truck. It's been down several dirty roads. I mean, look at the inside of this thing. It's filthy. The inside's not much better. We'll give you a little glimpse of the inside. I mean, it's, it's not horrible, but it needs a good cleaning. So, we are gonna clean. Woo! All right, 
Round two, we're gonna use basically the same stuff on it. I mean, the same stuff you've seen pictured, the armor all, the, what was it called? Mag Maguire stuff, um, vacuum, you know, whatever. We're gonna hit it. Dustin is washing off the truck. We are gonna start with these tires. We have the McGuire foam. Let's see how dirty these things are. On the inside now. Vacuum him up this mess. Years of grass and dirt. Good job, Ned. Doing fantastic. Got all that to go. Yummy. So for the inside, since mine is leather seats and stuff, I'm gonna use. Wyman, Wyman leather conditioning wipes for mine. And I'm going to use the McGuire Gold Class Rich Leather Cleaner. Okay, that sounds way better than mine, but it's okay because we're using it on the same truck. Okay, that's with the McGuire's Gold Class. That looks gold class. And Maddie's currently doing the front seat. It looks spectacular. First class. That's how we roll. Only thing for my man. Ooh-wee! I don't know about you, but uh, I'm satisfied. Look and it didn't cost me. Seats. I mean, I don't know. It didn't didn't cost me money either. We did it for free. I mean, it just cost me some time, but we made this cool video.